For my last Saturday grocery haul, I've got a $560 Costco haul to share with you. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I typically share a grocery haul for my family of six every Saturday. But today is going to be the last Saturday grocery haul that I share because I will be moving them to Friday starting next week. And that is just so I can work a little bit more during the week and not on the weekends when the kids are home. I'm also planning on sharing a little bit more meal prep with you guys from my grocery hauls and you should start seeing those on Saturdays to go with that grocery haul that you see on Friday. So I'm really excited about some changes that I'm making with the new year coming up. I've got a few things in mind, so I figured I would go ahead and start with the grocery hauls, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the changes that are gonna be happening. I'm gonna take you guys down to my table. It is a pretty full with my big haul. Now, I did get a lot of non-food items and some items that are more on the pricey side. So you guys are gonna see why my total was a little bit on the high side, but as I show you guys everything, I will pop up the individual prices so you guys can see exactly what each item cost. All right, let's go ahead and check out what I picked up at Costco. All right, this is what just under $560 looks like from Costco. Let's go ahead and start with the non-food items. So back here, this is something brand new. I've never seen it at Costco. And I am actually redoing, well not redoing because it is a completely empty room, but we are making a guest room in our home. So I have been working my little behind off, picking up several things. And one thing that I hadn't picked up yet is a lamp. And originally I had planned to have two lamps. So we'll see if I go back and pick up another one, but I might just have mismatched lamps. I don't know yet. I'm kind of thinking it through with you guys but until I get this in the room and plug it in and see how I like it I just love this for guests because it is a charging lamp so if we have somebody over and they forget their brick or their charging cord or anything like that we have extra cords here we don't have any extra bricks though so this is it also has wireless so if you just take your case off set your phone on there it'll charge it but it also has a little plug in as well so I thought this was really cool a healthier way to see why wireless charging it is LED and you can move the head of the lamp as well so they can kind of put the light wherever they want but here is the brand wellness series I'll show you guys the side here too it just has all sorts of things oh that's right you can choose the setting as well so it has three color modes warm bright bright white and natural like I said, it's got the plug-in plus the wireless and you can adjust it. Oh, and it is a touch lamp. So there's just a button down here that you press and it'll turn everything on and that's how you change the brightness levels and all of that. So I thought that was really cool. So we'll see, I wanted to get it here and kind of look at it with everything else that I have picked up and then if I like it, I'll go back and get another one for, you know, that way I have one for each side of the bed. All right, then we got some extra large drawstring bags. We use this for yard stuff. 33 gallon, there's 90 bags in here. Definitely lasts us quite a while. Then my doggos are running low on their treats. So I picked these up, the chicken and apple recipe sausage bites. I don't remember everything that was on sale, but I'm pretty sure these are. It says 100% natural, no artificial preservatives, and it is by Top Chews, 100% natural dog treats. So went ahead and picked those up. Oh, and this is a 40 ounce bag. Then I saw this, I was looking at all the Christmas stuff. I almost picked up two toys and then I decided against it because today when I'm filming this is a half day for the kids. Well, not a half day, but an early release. So they're gonna be home soon and I didn't wanna risk them seeing anything for them. So I'll probably go back in a couple weeks and pick up some stuff so you guys will see that. So this is, I saw this right next to the toy aisle and it is by KitchenAid, which I love their brand and it's a four piece silicone kitchen set. It comes with two oven mitts and two pot holders. And I thought this was great because some of my oven mitts are looking a little dingy and a couple of them I have, I've picked up some from the Dollar Tree they're really pretty and cute, but they're not 
good with the heat. I mean, they don't work very well. So I've slowly been upgrading to a better and thicker quality. And I feel like these are going to be great. And it says the silicone because it has, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's silicone all over the outside of the mitt, which I think is really cool. So it's less that you're going to slip and drop anything. So I've got that. Oh, it says it right here. Non-slip silicone grip, heavy duty and durable, and it is machine washable. So I did go ahead and pick this up to replace some of mine. Okay. A holiday season is upon us. I'm actually going to be decorating earlier than I ever have for Christmas. And I'm really excited about that. I needed some command strips because I do have a lot of things that I like to hang on the wall and these work fantastic. So it says holds 16 pounds. There's 34 large pairs because you do need two to be able to stick it to the wall. There's 68 strips all together. So it does say indoor picture hanging strips, damage free hanging, holds strongly and removes cleanly. And I can definitely attest to that. I love these. And then I went ahead and picked up some tape just because there's several things that I picked up. I don't need it for a little while, but I know I have a feeling this year that things are going to sell out fast. So when I'm seeing them, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up and that way I have them and I am all ready. So this is a pack of six total rolls. There's three magic rolls and there's three gift wrap rolls. So went ahead and got that. I am all set for gift wrapping this season. Okay. In not my last Costco haul, but maybe the one before that, I don't know. Recently though, the last couple months, I picked up an umbrella for Mark and I wasn't going to because I know I've seen them for like $5, but all the ones that I'm seeing for $5 are not prints that he will enjoy. So this was $9.99. I don't think it's bad. It's just, I know that I can get umbrellas cheaper. I just can't for him. <laughs> so he wants two. He wanted one for his car and then one for his office. So I went ahead and got him one last time or the time before whenever. And then I just, I went ahead and got another one cause I've been looking for another one and he didn't necessarily want a huge one. He wanted like the smaller, like half this size, but I just can't, I can't find them anywhere for him. So I did go ahead and pick up another one. It says vented umbrella. I'm not sure what that means. A vented canopy resists inversion in windy conditions. Interesting. UPF 50 sun protection, fiberglass frame, strong, lightweight, and flexible. So definitely a nice umbrella. So I did get him another one. These were on sale as well. And this is the toothbrush that all of us in the house use. So I went ahead and got the replacement heads because we are almost low. And whenever I see them on sale, I like to pick them up. That way we never pay full price because these are a little bit more on the pricier side regardless. So went ahead and got that. It has nine refills in here. Um, I went back and forth because I am going to be going back to Costco in about two weeks, but the paper plates have been out for so long. We don't need these right now, but since they've been out, I'm afraid in two weeks when I go back and I'm, you know, getting low and I want to get some more, they're not going to be there. So I did go ahead and pick up the Dixie Ultra. This is our favorite brand. They work great. Uh, the paper plates, the 10, a little over 10 inch ones, and there's 186 in here. So this lasts us quite a while. Then we'll go down here. I did pick up some dog food. My dogs love the ones from Sam's, but I'm not going to Sam's right now. So we are low because I only picked up one bag. We go through about two bags a month. So I did just pick up one bag for right now. And then in two weeks when I go back to Costco, I will pick up another bag or maybe I haven't decided yet if I want to go to Sam's next week or not. If I do, you guys will see that video, but um, I will pick up another bag in a week or two just to make sure we have enough for the entire month. So I did get a pack of our favorite dog food, which is the Kirkland Signature Nature's Domain. This one is turkey and sweet potato and it's a 35 pound bag and we have two big dogs. So if you have little dogs, this will definitely last you a lot longer, but we've got two big dogs. So this lasts almost two weeks, just under two weeks. So got one and then I did, he's like my cobweb here. Let me put it. Oh no, that's still going to be in the way. Anyway, <laughs> I, there we go. I picked one of these up last time and the second I got home and unboxed it, I kicked myself for not picking up another one because I do want one in each of my refrigerators. So technically I have three refrigerators, but the one outside is more for drinks. So I will take ah, the little drink thing and set that outside. Cause I feel like it definitely lets you put more in there, but the other bins I really do enjoy having in the refrigerator. It keeps things nice and organized. So this is the iDesign. I might even pick up another 
another one of these next time I go, just so I do have plenty. I don't know yet. Anyway, I knew I wanted at least two. So this is a four piece kitchen bin set. It says using the refrigerator, freezer, or pantry. It is made in the USA, food safe, BPA free. It is a durable plastic. I don't know if I would put this in the dishwasher. Yeah, no, it says not dishwasher safe on the top. I hand wash all things like this anyway. I love the drink container. So that will go outside in our garage. And then the other bins I really enjoy for organizing things. So it's got two of the four inch by 14 and a half inch by four inch. And then one of the bigger ones, that one that has the apples in it, it's eight by 14 and a half by four. So I really do like that. I saw this the last time I went and I didn't pick it up because I already had like a cart full. This time I was like, you know what? You're coming home with me. It is there. It's just such a pretty set and I don't have any, I mean, normally when I cook for my family, I don't bring it to the table. It's very buffet style here at my house. We like assembly line across the stove and I just leave everything out and I don't have any pretty dishes to serve things in. So I know we're gonna do Friendsgiving again this year. Last year was our first year doing it and we had such a blast that I know we're gonna do it again this year and I just wanted to get myself some pretty serving dishes. So this says five piece oven, two table serve set. So it doesn't really show anything hot in these, but you can use these as casserole dishes in your oven. And then again, they're really pretty. So you can bring them out to the table on hot pads and stuff like that. Or we'll probably use like our kitchen Island or something to serve the food on, but they just looked really pretty. They did have a turquoise set as well, which I'm really surprised I didn't pick that one up because I love any shade of blue. It's just my favorite color, but I think I'm going to love the gray color more. I think that just looks really pretty and it'll go with any season. The blue one I felt like was more like spring summer vibe. So that is it as far as the non food items it, because well, I got this little set, but it's got food in it. So it's not necessarily non food. Um, like I have mentioned in a couple videos, I think I have quite a few people that I am purchasing for this year, way more than last year, and not necessarily like big Christmas gifts, but just little things, so little little gifts. Um, I saw this one, they still had that one that I picked up last time, the cake in a mug set, which I obviously I still have that, I really love it. Then I saw this one and I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab this one too, that way ha I have options and all of that. So this one is really pretty. It says winter wishes, four festive gifts in one, ceramic mugs filled with sweet treats. So you can see there's a little chocolate, there's two types of cookies, and then I think this is a little box of hot cocoa mix. I'm not sure, but all the mugs are different colors. Really, really pretty. They're all individually wrapped. Let me turn it around. Yeah, there's a hot cocoa mix in there. So I loved this. I think it's super cute and makes just a, like a quick little gift and you can easily add a gift card to that as well. The rest is all food and drinks. And this is definitely more of a holiday haul. Um, I mainly went to Costco to look at their like kitchen and home items because I was on the hunt for a few things and then I really knew I needed dog food. Everything else I kind of just picked up knowing we were low on and then holiday stuff got me. So we are completely out of our fully cooked chicken sausage. We love this stuff by Jones Dairy Farm. Super yummy and quick, easy to heat up in the skillet. Now it does say you can microwave these. I am not a fan of these in the microwave. They don't, the texture is just not good. So I would definitely try them out in the skillet first, unless you love your microwave, that's totally fine. But these are really yummy. All of my kids love them and we have them almost every single weekend with something else with breakfast. So I did get that. I went ahead and picked up these pizza singles just to have on hand. I got a lot, well not a lot, but I got a few appetizer-y type things. Um, my kids really love that when we do kind of like appetizers for dinner. So I got the 12 pack of pizzas. There's six pepperoni and then six four cheese and they are personal size. So that will last us a little while. And then I love quiche. It is one of my favorite things to eat. If I am going to a restaurant for breakfast and they have a quiche, that is what I'm going to get. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked up these mini quiche. There's 72 pieces in here, 36 Florentine, which is with spinach and then 36 three cheese so that will be nice to have whether we do use them for get-togethers or if we do like an appetizer for dinner and this would always be also be good for breakfast i could heat some of these up with the sausage and maybe some pancakes or something like that it would just you know 
change up breakfast for a little bit. Okay, thinking of the holidays coming up, I did go ahead and get this Pillsbury pie crust. There's eight freezable individually wrapped crusts in here, so you can make four top and bottom pies, or if you're just making an open face pie, there's eight in here. So I felt like that was nice to have. Go ahead and pick up and have on hand. Then we are, we love having these again with appetizers and charcuterie boards and all of that coming up. I feel like charcuterie boards are so big this year. Everybody's doing them and it's just a great way to have a variety set out, whether it's just for your family or if you're having somebody over. So I did go ahead and get these non dippers. These last a super long time in the refrigerator and they freeze well also. So got that. Then because it is a little chilly in the San Antonio, Texas area, I did go ahead and pick up some soup. It's definitely soup season. And my oldest daughter Paige enjoys soup as well. And I think she will like this one. Now there's two really big containers in here. So we're going to have to eat on this together this week, or I mean, it says 12, 16. So I think one of them we can just leave in the refrigerator for a while and work on one, but this is Cedar Lane organic chopped vegetable and barley soup. And there's two 32 ounce containers in there. So, um, they, they don't look that big. I feel like we could easily split one for lunch today and then hold on to the other one. Or if we really like it and we want it tomorrow, we could go ahead and finish it off. So I went ahead and picked that up for a lunch option. Then coming down here, these just looked really good. And I thought this would be a really good lunch or dinner option for my family. It is the organic chicken flautas, white meat, chicken, black beans, a three cheese blend, and then green chilies wrapped in a crisp the to flour tortilla. I love any, we love our taco Tuesday nights and all that. So again, I thought we haven't done this type of taco Tuesday in a while. I thought this would be something nice and easy to change it up. I'm actually working on a chicken video for you guys. I am cooking whole chickens in different appliances and I'm sharing with you guys how each one turns out. I've already done one in my crock pot and one in my instant pot. So I'm gonna do a good old oven turkey and then I'm gonna do a little bit of research first, but I wanna try and see if my air fryer, my new air fryer will cook a whole chicken. I don't know, otherwise I'll just save this and we'll have it later on but I'll have at least three recipes to share with you guys or three um, chickens in different appliances to share with you guys coming up. Okay, we are getting into definitely some holiday items here. I saw, oh, who did I see talking about this? Was it Kimmy? She's in her apron. I saw somebody talking about this turkey brine saying that they use have used this every year for several years and they absolutely love it. Last year was the first time I had ever cooked a turkey for Thanksgiving and used a brine and it came out and tasted so good. So I went ahead and picked this one up to try this year. It, it does look good. You can see all the ingredients in there. So I went ahead and picked this up to hold on to because I mean, it is almost November and Friendsgiving is always before Thanksgiving. So I know that it's not gonna be too long before I need to start thinking about holiday meals and stuff like that. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna make it to a holiday meal, but this is something that I am all about. I love brie and I love it with anything. And this one just looks and sounds so good. I don't know if this is gonna make it to any holiday. I might just cook this for the fun of it this weekend, but it's baked brie with fig jam and chopped walnuts. I mean, how good does that look? So, so good. It does say you could freeze it, um, best buy or freeze by 11, 12. Okay. I got this to add to our Halloween charcuterie board. One, I just love the colors, the red and the white. And then two, I think I probably won't eat this, but my daughter Pearl, my husband, and then maybe Kira and her family would enjoy this, but it's Papandora, Papandora peppers stuffed with cream cheese and jalapeno. It says sweet and mild. I might try one. I just don't know what type of pepper this is. I've never purchased this before, but I just thought it looked good and my husband loves this kind of thing. So I picked that up. I did get some alcohol. So I got some traditional holiday eggnog. This is alcoholic with wine cocktail. So I picked that up. It says made with real dairy cream, serve over ice. Got that. Oh, and somebody reached out to me on Instagram because I had shared that I love eggnog and I asked everybody, do you love it? It was like 30% loves eggnog and 70 did not like eggnog. It's I, you guys are missing out. <laughs> I love eggnog. It's like really sweet milk. It's so good. I guess if you don't like milk, you're definitely not going to like eggnog. Anyway, she told me to try it 
over ice with ginger ale. And I was like, ooh, so I thought that this one, because it's alcoholic and you're already serving it cold over ice, that it would be good to add in that ginger ale and give it that sparklingness that I love. I love bubbly drinks and sparkling and all of that. So I'm gonna try that. Sounds a little weird, not gonna lie, but don't knock anything till you try it, right? So I'm definitely gonna try that and I thought it would be good with that. These are new Moscato Diostes that I'm pretty sure we have not picked up before and I always keep my eye out on the wines to try. So this one is iCardi Moscato Diosti. It says wine made with organic grapes. And then this one is Marcarina. Marcarini, Marcarini, you guys like how I pronounce things? Anyway, I went ahead and picked these two up because they look new to me like we haven't tried them. Sticking on the drinks, we'll start with the best one. Oh my gosh, they had so many of these. <laughs> it's back, I'm so excited. I actually still have like 12 in my refrigerator, but I was like, I'm picking it up. <laughs> I'm picking it up and it's coming home with me. So if you guys are new, you don't know my love of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, but it's not a problem because I got no shame in loving it, but I love it and they have been out forever and it's been really hard for me to find it. So I was excited that they had it back in bulk, that I could buy it and it's going in my refrigerator and I'm excited. Anyway, it's 35 cans, picked that up. Then I am pretty low, not out, but I went ahead and picked up some more LaCroix. This is something else that I really enjoy drinking. There's 24 cans in there. This is their like holiday variety pack. It has six Raz Cranberry, six Berry, and then 12 Tangerine. And then I was gonna pick up the Monsters because Mark definitely prefers those, but he's told me before that if one or the other, he enjoys the bangs as well, he just prefers the Monsters. He always tells me if one of them is on sale, just get whichever one is on sale. Well, the monsters are not on sale, but the bangs were, so I did go ahead and pick these up. There's 24 16 ounce cans in here, and there's peach mango, star lust, cotton candy, and rainbow unicorn. So I went ahead and got that, and then I wanted to go ahead and pop up a picture that I took in the store. I have talked about the protein drinks several times, and not all the time are they on sale, but if you guys haven't tried them yet, they are on sale right now. So if you guys wanted to try them at a discount, now's the time. We enjoy them, all all of us drink them here in the house. So, And they have a variety of different flavors to try out. So I wanted to go ahead and share you guys. I don't need any, that's why I didn't pick any up. I still have several in my refrigerator, but I wanted to share that they are on sale since I've talked about them before. Okay, going back to the last few items. This was totally an impulse buy because I was, I mean, not really impulse. I had appetizers on my mind like I wanted to pick up the pizzas and then I picked up the quiche and then I saw this and I was like yes <laughs> I love crab cakes and it's rare that I ever make them or you know get them from a restaurant so I went ahead and picked up these crab cake minis Phillips seafood restaurants there's 36 in here I just thought that would be really good now I need to get some tartar sauce though I don't have any I'm gonna have to write that down when I go to a smaller non-bulk store but that just sounded good, so I picked those up. And then I use crescent rolls for a lot of different things, mainly like just to fun something up <laughs> with the kids. So I went ahead and picked up this bigger pack. There's 40 crescent rolls in there. It's five eight ounce cans. So went ahead and got that. That'll be nice to have for different things. And then, all right, so I picked this up thinking that we could use this, or I'm thinking I'm gonna break this into four different gifts with a gift card or something, you know, a couple other things to put into gift baskets. So I just thought it looked really good. It's perfect pairings for charcuterie and cheese. And if you guys have never had anything like this, what you do is you just buy a block of cream cheese. You don't need to do anything to it. Cut it up, you just put it on a little platter and you pour this over it and then you just dip a cracker in it and it's so good. It's very similar to the, I mean, that's probably why I like the goat's milk cheese with all this yummy stuff over it. It's just really good with crackers. It also says you can baste on pork tenderloin. Um, this one says heat and drizzle on waffles. So good, but you can also pour it over cream cheese and it's really good. So I went ahead and got this. There's red hot jalapeno jelly. Amaretto peach pecan preserves. Oh my gosh, this one says top on ice cream. Oh, it's gonna be really hard. I should have picked up two of these so I could keep one. Maybe in a couple weeks when I go back. This one is toasted cinnamon pear preserves. That sounds good. I mean, they all sound good. And this one is strawberry rhubarb preserves. 
top biscuits and toast served with cheese and meat heat and drizzle on waffle mixed with cream cheese top ice cream i just thought this would be really a good and different um a gift option for people this year for me then i got some really green bananas so they last a little while my kids have been on a banana phase so i went ahead and got those i got the nutso again for mark he really enjoys this he actually i'll try to remember to take a picture of a spoon that i got him for his birthday doesn't that sound so fancy i bought him a spoon but this spoon he absolutely loves it's engraved and he laughed his little tush off when i gave it to him because of how true it is so he has a spoonful or two of peanut butter every single night you guys it's no joke a small glass of milk and one or two tablespoons or spoonfuls of peanut butter and that is just his thing before we go to bed. So I got him that spoon <laughs> for his birthday so he knows which spoon is his. Anyway, I went ahead and got the nuts. So this is one that he enjoys. It's full of nuts. Cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, so nuts and seeds, and then a little Celtic sea salt in there. So went ahead and got that. Then my kids love cucumbers. This is something that I can easily get them to eat no matter what. So I did go ahead and get the three pack of cucumbers. And then I saw these. I've never picked these up before, but these are French brioche baguettes. I thought this was something that would be super cute on a charcuterie board or an appetizer type night, or if we do like soups and sandwiches, these are perfect little sandwich size breads to go with soups and stuff. So there's two packs in here. And then does it tell me how many each pack has? I mean, there's, oh, right here, pre-sliced 12 mini baguettes. So each pack has six in it, which is perfect for my family. So I can open one, we can have it one night for dinner or lunch on the weekend. And then I have another one. I'll just put the other one in the freezer so I know it's not going to go bad. But this is something I've never picked up before. It just caught my eye and I thought it looked really fun. Okay guys, I am sneaking this footage in here because it is a Friday night when I am editing the grocery haul to get to you guys on Saturday. And I realized I forgot two items so i wanted to go ahead and share those because they are definitely included in that over 500 dollars total so i picked up a bag of the mini peppers and these my oldest daughter Paige loves to munch on as well as my daughter pearl but i did figure that these would be good for halloween to put out for snacking on so i did pick that up now i do have a big seasoning mix but i use that more for cooking as far as the dressing i just go ahead and buy it pre-packaged because my family loves it so i did go ahead and get the ranch and the other one that we enjoy is the olive garden Italian dressing, which we're almost out of that, but I don't need to pick any up just yet. That might happen the next time though. So those are the two items <laughs> that I forgot to show you guys. And that is everything for just under $560 from Costco. All right, so that is my Costco haul for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you love watching grocery hauls, please give this video a big thumbs up. That just lets me know to continue sharing them. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday, which is also Halloween. So happy Halloween to those who celebrate it. We are actually going to be having a party here with just a couple of close friends and family. So I will be sharing a few pictures over on Instagram and I might put a little blog post out on my website as well. But you guys can find all my other social media links down in the description box. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.